guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Leslie. If you don't know me, today's video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Leslie. If you don't know me, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Lin Lin Beauty Monster Mash series. So this is my little Halloween series. I've been doing it since last year. I did some before that, but it wasn't like a series or anything. But last year was pretty good and I was excited about it. And now we are back for this year's Monster Mash series. Super excited. Today's look, of course, is this one that I'm doing right now. It's my little take on a pinup zombie person, girl. <laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoy this one. Before we get started, though, I do want to talk about a couple of things. I am going to be picking just random people in the comments to win some goodies. So that way you guys can be excited to watch the videos and also win some goodies along the way. Why not? Who doesn't like free stuff, right? <laughs> Anyways, I'll leave everything in the description box down below so you know the rules and everything that you need to do to be able to enter so make sure you check the description box so you know that what you need to do and yeah let's go ahead and get started on this look guys the first thing we're gonna do is apply a primer I do want to protect my face from the paint a little bit so I am using my milk hydro grip primer I usually just put it in the center of my face but I'm gonna put it everywhere you are gonna want to make sure that your primer dries if you are using a water activated paint you're gonna want to let your primer dry out like let it sink into your skin don't put your paint on right away or else your paint is going to be sliding all over the place and we don't want to do that now we're gonna go ahead and block the brows and i'm not an expert at this whatsoever i just watched a video on youtube when i first started doing it and have been doing it like that since so you guys can see how i do it you can definitely look up other videos as well on how to block brows i'm just gonna grab this glue this is just a regular elmer's glue this is the purple one it does dry up clear so you don't have to worry about the color and I just make sure that I get it on the whole brow here. This is just gonna help lay them down so you don't see any of the hairs. And then I'm going to brush them up. I want them as flat as I can get them. You don't have to do this for this look if you don't want to. If you wanna use your own brows that you have, definitely you can do that. You don't have to lay them down. I just want to do a different shape to mine. So that's why I'm gonna glue them down. And just gonna make sure that that sits for a little bit. Let it dry. Okay, so now that the brow is dry, I'm gonna go in with the translucent powder. This is the Airspun Loose Powder. I'm going to just dab that in. It's okay if you get powder everywhere else. We're gonna wipe it off anyways. And so if you go back and you feel the ridges of that eyebrow, that's what we're trying to get rid of. I'm going to go back in with the glue and pulling it up this time instead of all over the place like I did the first time. Just going upwards. I'm going to go back in with the spoolie here and push those up. And then this time instead of waiting for it to dry, I'm going to go back in like this and press that powder in. So that's pretty good. I don't feel any of the hairs anymore much, so we're gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna do the other one and I will be right back. All right, so now that we have those blocked, I'm gonna draw with this white liner just the pieces of flesh that I want out. They 
don't have to be perfect. I'm kind of just going in there and doing what I think will look good. <laughs> Now that I have my pieces, I'm going to get my paint here. And these are all water activated paints. So I'm just using a green paint. I'm gonna be using this one right here just to color everything in. And then I'll probably use some of the lighter greens as well to highlight and maybe the darker one to contour. I already colored in the green everywhere. Now we're gonna highlight and contour a little bit. So I'm going in with some cream paints for this part. We're gonna put a little bit of white underneath the eye area and we'll see what else. Usually in the areas well you would highlight with a concealer. So we did highlight now on here and then here and now we're going to go ahead and contour. So now I'm going to go ahead and contour here with this green from the James Charles palette. You can use any green, you don't have to use this one. That's just the one that I'm going to use. Now we're gonna go ahead and start shading these in. First, I'm gonna go in with a black to outline the outside of it, and then inside we'll do like red. So you can use any black. I'm using an eyeshadow. And now I'm going to put a little bit of red inside of those. Now with a black cream here, I'm going to outline those and just do more details on that.
Alright, so now I'm gonna use some of this uh, blood here. This is the Maron Stage Blood. And I'm gonna put it on this little cap. We are going to put that on the wounds, like in here. So it looks a little more realistic. Just tapping it in instead of brushing it on. And now I'm going to dab a little bit of that blood with this sponge just to make it a little more realistic here. Okay, and now with that same black paint, I'm going to make some brows. something on the eyes and do a little bit of lips here and we should be done for the eyes I am gonna grab this green dark green that we used earlier it's nothing too crazy I'm just adding some dimension to the look that's all I'm doing In the lower lash line, I'm just gonna put some black and then smudge it everywhere pretty much. So now that the eye is pretty much done, I do wanna add a little bit of glitz. To it like a little bit of glitter not glitter but a shimmer to it just in the middle and give it a little oomph to the look it is supposed to be a pinup girl so let's add this on and now with an eyeliner here i'm gonna go ahead and just make a big wing Now we are going to go in with a red lip. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips first. This is from BH Cosmetics in the shade Glory. Of course, you can use any red that you have at home. And then I'm just going to go in with a liquid lipstick. This is from Real Her and it's called I Am Adaptable is the shade. Seen some highlights here and there, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some highlights with the white paint. Let me get a brush here. There we go, that looks better. I'm gonna grab a little bit of that black paint and just smudge it a little bit on my under eye here. It's 
to see if it runs down a little bit. We are trying to look dead. So now I am gonna grab the red paint from that big palette that I showed you guys with the paint on it. And I'm going to create a little, like my throat is cut kind of thing. I'm gonna really wet the brush and see if I can make some drips here. I'm gonna grab a little more of this stage blood and then put it on here as well. Okay, I think that's good enough. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna go put some lashes on, do the outfit, the hair, and I will be right back. So this is it for this look. I did add some lashes here headband, wig, and this dress that I have on going for a more of a pinup girl look of course. And yeah guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to comment down below. I will be picking a random person from the comments to win a few goodies. So make sure that you comment, make sure that you're subscribed, and that you are following me on Instagram. I will try to get a hold of you one way or another. So make sure that you leave me either your handle down below or something in the comments where I can get a hold of you. But yeah guys, I hope that you guys enjoy this video and enjoy the first look of this Monster Mash series. Stay tuned for the next one. Toodles!